Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Lovely Children. I hope you're safe and well. This week, CAS are running the WCBP conference in Washington, D.C. And while I haven't been able to get on a plane and get there in person, I'm delighted that I am actually still at the show virtually and getting to talk to Mark Lees and David Cahoon from SciEx to learn more about what they're talking to delegates about yeah, at the show. So, uh, Mark, David, it's lovely to see you both. How are you? Good. Good to see you too. Good. Fantastic. So before we start talking about what you're discussing with delegates this week, would one of you mind giving viewers a quick overview of Sykes for those who are not familiar with Sykes? Sure. Um, so so Sykes is uh, 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 an analytical testing company, and we're we're very well known in the area of mass spectrometry, uh, and mo more recently capillary electrophoresis technology. And so we uh, we. Um, provide solutions really to answer questions ac across a number of different industries, biopharmaceuticals or pharmaceuticals being one of them, hence the, the uh, participation here at WCBP, uh, where um, we're showcasing our latest, greatest technology. Fantastic. And what um, solutions are you specifically focusing on this week? at WCBP. Yeah, so so I can I, I can begin and, and speak about one of the the uh, the two major platforms that we're introducing and then David uh, can tell you about the, the second the the uh, uh, the first that I'll start with is the uh, the, the Biophase 8800 which is effectively a high throughput uh, capillary electrophoresis platform. And this is something that we launched uh, in September of 2021, so uh, about 4 months ago and um, are uh, showcasing here to the audience um, at WCBP as, a, as effectively a, uh, a, a way to really improve uh, sample throughput uh, for some of these key analyses that people are, are, are doing or having to do uh, to meet requirements for um, commercial readiness. Brilliant. And actually, uh, you know, that was the last time you and I sp spoke, Mark, was that for the launch of that particular and I'll add the link to our interview from September in this post. So if you want to check out Mark talking about that in a lot of depth, you'll be able to click on that interview as well and find out a bit more about that. And, and David, what are you talking to delegates about this week? Um, so um, to, uh, the show this week, we're talking about our newest um, QTOF mass spectrometer, the Xenotof 7600. I know that you've uh, had a previous episode on that as well. During yes, our I launch, did, yeah. But, um, uh, so we're, we're going to be talking about that, focusing specifically on some of the, the biopharma applications. Um, it, you know, it, it's a unique instrument that has some uh, capabilities that, that really you can't find anywhere else. Right. So, so let's talk a bit more in depth about the applications and workflows then that both those instruments can help users with. So, um, Mark, do you want to sort of start first talking about your product range and what workflows and applications it really helps users with? Sure. And so with, with the biophase, we're, we're addressing um, a couple of the fundamental uh, applications or, or analytical uh, characterization areas, one being purity analysis of uh, protein therapeutics and the other uh, being charge heterogeneity uh, characterization of, of the same types of molecules. And to be able to do that, we're applying um, CESDS technology as well as isoelectric focusing uh, technologies or CIEF um, in a, in a multi-capillary environment. So uh, really being able to, to get um, highly sensitive analyses with the reproducibility uh, that is, that, that's essentially required um, in, in today's analytical labs. Brilliant. And David, from your point of view? Um, yeah, so actually, um, WCBP is actually a perfect venue for the Xenotop 7600. So at the um, opening session that we, we attended this morning, they were talking about the importance of being able to analyze and understand critical quality attributes and be, really be able to characterize your biomolecule. And that's really one of the big strengths of the, the Xenotop 7600 because um, it has, in addition to having CID, it has this technique EAD, electron activated dissociation, right. and it allows you to differentiate between um, uh, leucine, isoleucine, and um, uh, isoaspartate, aspartate, really important um, for, for understanding your drug molecule, um, but it also has this 
great quantitative ability. So they, in the, the round table discussion, they really hit on a lot of the points. And I was sitting there going, oh yeah, we can do that. Oh, we could sell. And, and, and then the, the following session was advanced analytical technologies. And they were talking again about the importance of really being able to understand these new uh, molecules. And again, I was sitting there going, oh yeah, you know, we, we, have, we have the ability to do that now. So, so it's really exciting to talk to people about what, what we can really bring to the table with this new technology. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. And uh, apart from coming to the booth, how are, well, what else are you doing at the show this week? Well, we're, we're actually uh, hosting a technical seminar uh, right. that'll be held on Thursday of this week. Uh, so the day after tomorrow, today's Tuesday for, the, for those <laughs> watching this. Um, and uh, what we're going to be talking about there is really uh, the instruments that that David and I just told you about, as well as, so that'd be the biophase and the xenotop, as well as coupling some novel technology that's a sort of a coming attraction, right? Uh, and, and that's gonna be around um, ICIEF MS capability, right? So the ability to essentially um, use mass spectrometry as a detector for uh, highly uh, resolved charge isoforms. Fantastic. And I understand you've got some customers doing that technical tool. Yeah, we do. We actually have, uh, we have some, um, some collaborators from Janssen uh, Pharmaceuticals who are going to be uh, uh, providing uh, the, uh, the talk for us. Brilliant. And, and details for that talk for you, by the way, will be again in this post. So you can click on that and find out a bit more about that talk awesome. within the post. Uh, so finally, if uh, people can't see you on the booth for whatever reason, how else can they interact with you this week at the show? Um, yeah, so um, in addition to having a live booth here, we have a digital presence as well because it is a hybrid conference. And if you visit our digital booth, you have the ability to either schedule a one-on-one conversation, kind of like what we're doing right now, um, or um, you can, uh, you can uh, send messages, chat, and download our content. Um, and if, if you're not able to attend the conference uh, this year, we do have a lot of information at science.com and also the ability to um, connect with your local specialist or local rep to, who, can, who can give you uh, answers to any of the questions that you might have um, around CE, mass spec, or those integrated technologies. Brilliant, gentlemen. Well, thank you very much for giving me that quick overview. It's lovely to see you. I hope you have a fantastic time in Washington, D.C. this week and uh, get to talk to lots of people on the booth as well. Awesome. Yeah. Great, uh, well, hopefully we see you. Them. Hopefully we see you in a future show, right? I certainly hope so. I'm <laughs> hoping to get to the States this week. Uh, I've already missed two shows and I think I'm going to miss another one in two weeks yeah, time. Yeah. But uh, hopefully, hopefully April, May time, I'll be able to get yeah. to the States. As we'll, we'll see what the future holds, right? right? Certainly, <laughs> definitely. Fingers crossed. But I wish you lots of success this week with both the talks mm-hmm. and obviously the event itself. So there you go, viewers. If you'd like to know more, uh, about the Xenotoph and the biophase instruments and also the various application workflows they can help you with. And you're at uh, WCBP this week, whether it's virtual or in person, then please check out the Sykes booth and also check out the technical talk on Thursday. And if you can't make it, then one, you can also go to the Sykes website. The details will be above the video or you can get in touch with the gentleman on LinkedIn. They're actually on LinkedIn. I'm connected with them as well. And you can ask them questions on that. Or you can put questions below the video as well if you've got any questions based on what they said today. So all that's I would say is, once again, gentlemen, have a great show. And viewers, thank you very much for watching. Until next Thanks time. Thanks very as much, all, Richard. It's yep. lovely to see you. Thank okay, you, viewers, awesome. for watching. Thanks. Until next time, Thanks. Yep. stay yeah. well and stay safe. Bye-bye.